In this question, we need to find the condition such that these matrices commute under multiplication. Now we say the property commutative is satisfied when changing the order of the operands does not change the result. So if we have A operation B where A and B are operands, if we change the order of the operands, then the result must not change. So if this value is x, then this value should also be x if A and B commute under this operation. Now in this question, operands are matrices and operation is multiplication. So the equation we have is A product B equals to P product A. If this is true, then we can say that matrices A and B commute under multiplication. Now let's find A product B. So the resultant matrix will be of size number of rows in the first matrix and number of columns in the second matrix. So it will be of size 2 cross 2. Now to find the elements, let's first number the rows and the columns of the resultant matrix. Now this element is from first row and first column. So we take first row and first column and multiply the corresponding elements. So A is multiplied with cos theta and 0 is multiplied with sin theta. So we get A cos theta. Similarly, this element, first row and second column, we get 0 times cos theta and minus P sin theta. Second row, first column, it's A sin theta. And second row, second column, it's P cos theta. Now similarly, we'll find B product A. Now that we have both the matrices, next step is to equate them. Now two matrices are equal if their corresponding elements are equal. That is, A cos theta equals to A cos theta, which is always true. Minus P sin theta equals to minus A sin theta. A sin theta equals to B sin theta. Now note that these two equations are same. You multiply this equation by minus 1 and reverse it to get this equation. Now last equation is P cos theta equals to B cos theta. So this is also true. Now basically we need to solve only one equation A sin theta equals to B sin theta in order to satisfy A product B equals to B product A that is the commutative property. Now let's solve this equation. Now in order to solve this equation we take this right hand side to the left and take sin theta common. Now this is 0 when either sin theta is 0 or A minus B is 0. So this is true when A equals to B and sin theta is 0 for theta equals to minus pi, 0, pi and so on. So in general theta equals to integral multiple of pi. So the matrices commute under multiplication if A equals to B or theta equals to integral multiple of pi.